Hey everybody, welcome back to a Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus, and it's just us again, all by ourselves in the town of Tucson. Travis has abandoned us again. Uh, last time we did some shopping, we bought a, a bear, a bear doll, a, a bear something that is apparently I'm dragging around, or it's walking itself around, or I don't know. But I think, uh, oh, oh, okay, I thought it was going to be an empty, empty place. I think we can explore the town of Tucson a little more. Did you know that two young inventors live in this town? I want to invent something too. Well, get to it! <clears throat> two young inventors. So, what do we know about Tucson? We know that um, Nancy is in Tucson, and that Nancy is being followed around by some creepy guy, and that some people over to the east, I believe? are causing some trouble. What is this? Chaos Theater. This sounds serious. We've got a theater in town that's um, like right downtown that uh, I'm starting a line here if I want tickets to today's show. Man, I'm not getting I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with queue. Queen, go ahead, quick. Let's see if this guy also loves standing in a queue. If I had some connections, I would waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I have connections. Let me in here. Suckers. Alright. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. Ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Oh, okay, so I can buy tickets at the department store. Good to know. I assume uh, player present my ticket. Don't have it. That person lost there, so maybe I can find it. <laughs> Poochie Fud? Wow. That is a sweet, sweet name. Um, wow, Poochie Fud looks a lot like all the other big important people in, uh, in Earthbound. The Runaway 5 owe me a lot of money. I'll stay here until they pay me back. Might be for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> the Runaway 5, I'm assuming, is a band? I can hear some, like, really slow jam, honky-tonk stuff going on in the background. Maybe they're the, uh, that's their genre of music. But it's been a little while since I, uh, picked up with a controller and, uh, decided to record. Girl lives at the house at the preschool, talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Oh, she must be a hottie with a naughty body. Uh, we, that's right. We are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. Uh, we're being cheated by this theater. We're deeply in debt. Yeah, that's what the guy was fully admitted it. Um, the dogs here are friendly. Oh, I can talk to him. That's right. Let's see. There's a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog wolf. Huh. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've been, since I've decided to record. I know it's not probably for you guys, but um, for me it has. I don't know. I just haven't really felt in a creative mindset, and I feel like it wouldn't be fair to... Wow. Oh my god. What is going on here? I just feel like it wouldn't be fair to come to the controller without um, being in the, the right state of mind to uh, illustrate this world for everybody. Everybody just always watching the Berglund Park. Berglund Park. That is a ominous name. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked crops. Cops. Let's see. It's even got a little A-frame says Berglund Park. Can I buy stuff here? Is this just a well of information? Came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes the station better. Uh, spicy mustard. That is my favorite condiment. Seasoning to add my meal. Quite marvelous. Read something, seasoning will sprinkle automatically. They come in just cute little packs and jars. What kind would you like? Oh my god. Sugar pack, do they have spicy mustard? No. Jar of hot sauce, though. Maximum number of things. God, and I have to think I have to go all the way back to my sister to store stuff. Okay, so I've got a teddy bear, cold... Oh my gosh. See, this is what I was worried about. Like, the ATM card's mandatory, soundstone mandatory, town map's mandatory, my three equipments are mandatory, the teddy bear is not mandatory, but I've got it. An exit mouse, I think it's probably like an escape rope? Of course, Everdeed isn't a good person. Ever dread. But he's actually quite warm hearted for a crime boss. What is going on in Tucson? Seems like there's a lot more than just meets the eye. 
And he's gonna sell the for sale sign. Oh no, I don't want to buy it. Okay. Whew. Just, I don't. I don't know why I would want to buy the for sale sign. Um, oh, I'll talk to this guy. He looks interesting. He'll be the last person we talk to because I can't really buy anything. The world's greatest ruler. Two two clams. Um, Room, get rid of something and come back. This isn't my photograph back. <laughs> Why don't we chatter after we've locked horn? Why does this guy want to fight me? Oh, he's the crime boss. All right. So let's see. So now I've noticed that my uh, attack action is shoot. He knitted his brow. Uh, instead of whatever it was before, brawl or melee or um, something like that. Because I have a slingshot. Uh, oh, 30 to Teddy. I don't quite know how Teddy works because I don't have like any stat bar for him down here. Uh, I did a little tiny bit of uh, grinding off screen. Ah, okay, here we go. He became a pile of fluff. I don't know how the baddies decide to attack Teddy or attack me. Um, but now I see that he can take a certain amount of damage, which was actually quite a bit. I was kind of impressed. Uh, I think it costs 200 or something, so... Uh, but Travis did inform me, and I am... He stole a bread roll. <laughs> he, he informed me, and I'm, I'm seeing the um, effects of it now, that different weapons, although they increase your attack may have a lower accuracy, and that is not something that is explicitly said when you're buying it. It doesn't tell you, like, its hit rate or whatever. So, I'm pretty sure that this slingshot is not super great, and I kind of regret getting rid of my bat. Let's see. Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know what you want to find out about a girl named Nancy. She went off to see her hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. Oh, there's a couple of valleys around here, then. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. <laughs> oh, man. So, the mob boss knows about a kidnapping. Not doing anything about it. Okay. They said that they were going to make Nancy some sort of human sacrifice. What? They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might have gone already. You better hurry. You saved Nancy, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Wow! They're gonna make Nancy a human sacrifice. Holy shnikes. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. You just wanted to fight me and destroy my teddy bear. Now that I don't have my teddy bear, though... Oop, not the right button. I can use... This. <laughs> so disappointing. Um... Like I said, I haven't played in a while, but that doesn't mean I haven't been thinking about the game uh, in my off time, because uh, Buzz said that Gygus distorts the evil in people's minds and turns it from essentially uh, stupid slav applicator always asking me for some meat. He's the inventor. He should invent food for himself. Sick burn. Sick burn. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airhead dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. Alright, so apple kid and orange kid, two are inventors that were mentioned before. Polestar, I've been told what this is. It's a strip club, that's right. Let's check it out. Uh, so Gygus distorts. Oh, this is the daycare. And it's like a mother to me, blah blah blah, I have emotions. Baby face, possessed the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. He's also got a helmet on. Well, I wanted to play with Nancy, but she's gone, so I, okay, I think I get it. Is this the adult over here? Whistle? Whistle. Anywhere. Makes me smile. Okay. I'm Nancy's mother. Is he taking care of these kids? You shouldn't worry about Nancy. She's a guardian angel, it seems. Well, I'm still going to worry about her because she's been fucking kidnapped. Oh, Nancy's dad, maybe? So, you want to see Nancy? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So you from a TV station or what? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and try to play this one off. Oh, shit. Uh, never mind, just kidding. Not, not police station. Or not police station, TV station. 
to meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Nancy. Nancy has said that she would only like to meet a boy named Azo. <gasps> so you're Azo. You're the one that was in Nancy's dream. You will save the world. Let me go with Nancy. Anyway, uh, so Gygus distorts the evil that's in people's minds, which she doesn't seem to be. No fucking shit. <clears throat> distorts the evil that's in people's minds. I don't know if it is possessing them to act on it, like the evil that was already seeded in there, or it's amplifying it or accelerating it or what, but um, it never says that he was implementing anything more than was already innately there. Greetings, I am Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed by my reputation. What, your reputation being super fucking hot? <clears throat> I have a lot of invention development, but I'm running short on cash. Basically, happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. Ooh, that sounds good. A machine that would help me in peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help with the finance project? Uh, willing? Yeah, let's, you know, what's your pitch? $200 to buy materials. That sounds great. I just I just need an ATM. I'll be right back. Let me check with Apple Kid, see if he's got a, uh, a better deal for me. Alright, Apple Kid, what up? Well, I've sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so maybe kind of sticky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Oh, what can you give me? Buddy, I can give you a fucking exit mouse. Please, please choose something edible. I'm not a garbage cat, you know. <laughs> oh, come on. So picky. Alright, alright, alright. I get it, I get it. We're talking, we're talking. I have something to eat. Come on, I'll give you something. <laughs> I wish I had my cookies. I'll give him my sandwich because I know that the hamburger is pretty, pretty baller. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. No. Oh. Hmm. All right, so I'll go get some money and come back to these inventors. Maybe they've got good weapons. I don't know. I haven't been to the valleys yet, so I don't know what sort of hospitable environment, inhospitable environment, could. Uh, be waiting for me there. Maybe one of these is a hotel. Pizza joint. Pizza joint shit up an ATM. Um, I lied. No ATM in the pizza joint. I guess they told me in the beginning. Bus station? Where can this take me? I'm thinking about taking a bus to three. There, there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. Ooh, so potentially dangerous trip to three by foot. Love the name Threed, by the way. Third Town Threed. Awesome. I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my old lady. Ha! Huh? Wah, 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 wah. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Double back. Come on, Aza. This looks like a money machine. Boom. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm stinking rich. Uh... Let's get out this much and not die. All right, guys, we're not going to die this episode. This is going to be an episode of happy feelings and not dying. Ah, I keep pushing the wrong button. I want to get on my bike. Bicycle. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, my God. Look how fast I'm going. This is the best. Straight up to... Oh, I have... Oh. I li... Okay, all right. I was going to have to go to my item menu to like unused but that was not the case all right let's fund you how funny would it be if this was just some sort of a money sink that you just keep pitching funds into and you never actually see anything from thank you very much it's supposed to have a tremendous impact on all of mankind let me know let me give you my super orange machine call it Suporma. Suporma for sure. I got Suporma. Great. Another thing that's gonna take up space in my inventory. I'm hard at work. Don't worry. I'm a brilliant inventor. So yeah, okay. Hmm. I wonder if this is a guy that I can come back to later and give him more money. Suporma. Um, help! Suporma. Orange Kid's Invention. Well, maybe Suporma. Okay. Oh, I wonder if
if I can help exit mouse. If you use this in a dungeon or some such place, mouse brings you back to the place where you entered. It's a very smart mouse. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the slingshot then. Slingshot. A decent little weapon. <laughs> okay. Soundstone? Soundstone. You can touch this to your forehead and concentrate on your thoughts. Your sanctuary melodies can be heard. Cool. I don't feel like being super Dark Soulsian about the item descriptions, but I do like that they have uh, some short blurbs for them. Let's, sorry, let's see. Yes, I'll invest. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, excuse me. $20. There you go. I figured. And that's it. Thank you. Oh, oh I see. And the mouse blocks my way. I have a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. The receiver phone. Oh, I'm just making noise. Let's take a look at what the receiver phone is, because it takes up a goddamn slot in my fucking items. Help. Receiver phone. Applicant's invention. Now you can receive important calls. What? I noticed before that I would get random calls from my dad, just being out and about. Oh, I passed the banner for Tucson Town, so I think that that's the way to three. Yeah, that's too far south. That's the bus station. So, alright, we'll head off from the bus station. We'll head uh, off to the east. See if we can get to that valley um, that I'm thinking Nancy was taken to. Let's see what this gal has to say. I'm trying to talk to this gal. People in Happy Happy Valley are fanatical about a strange religion. They've got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. There are UFOs and peaceful. I'm pretty sure that these names are going to be like hyper ironic. Yo, I hear that a girl named Nancy was kidnapped while helping out at the Pole Stars preschool. Is that all you know? Alright. Um, happy Happy Village. I doubt that Happy Happy Village is actually as happy happy as it sounds, and then Super Duper Peaceful Valley is probably, like, it's got UFOs and stuff. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's a bad guy. I thought it, this was going to be, like, a little tree that I could talk to and nourish, but not the case. All right. So I don't have my teddy bear anymore, which is fine, I suppose. I just wish I had something more accurate. But we do what we can. Oh, okay, so what do I have by my name now? Down in the lower thing, I've got my Azo down here is like lavender colored, and I can't quite tell what that is, but I wonder if it persists here. I wonder if I'm... I have a mushroom on my head. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's use my Psy here. Healing. What does healing... Tried it. Oh, okay. Didn't get rid of that. I wanted to actually just check it, but... Oh, I will use that. Alright. Let's see if this affects my hip point. What am I at? One, oh, 138. Alright. Still 138. Peace to Ross Valley ahead. Proceed through the cave. Should be totally safe and absolutely cool. Um, I don't think that this cold remedy is going to help with that. So I guess I'll just leave the mushroom for now. I don't really know how to get rid of it. Maybe Nancy knows. She's a teacher. Okay. This guy kind of fucked me up last time. We'll be careful. Maybe we'll use... Ah, I'd like to reserve my um, Psy Psychic Points for healing. Oh, I feel funky. Oh, man. So that mushroom... Quote-unquote makes me feel funky, and then saps life for me when I attack it, it seems like. Or at least that's what happened on the first one. Maybe... I'm 
still figuring it out. We'll get it, you guys. We'll get it. But first, main priority, save Nancy. Would you just go over? There you go. Huh. Is the mushroom messing with my controls, too? This is really hard to... Interesting. hum dee dum dee dum dee dum I'm hunting for mushrooms. I have one on my fucking head, dude! Hey, would you be like this? Oh! Please! Yes! Such a great mushroom. I'm so happy I got it. Can you tell me more about those? hum dee dum dee dum dee dum Hunting for mushrooms. You don't collect a ton. Okay. Well, that's convenient. I really like the mechanic there. They even incentivize you. But maybe this guy will tell me about the mushroom on my head. No, 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 no. Talk. Yep, I get it. About how to survive battles? Fuck yeah, I've been doing a shit job of that. So if you could tell me how to do that, I would love it. <clears throat> Hurt in battle. Survive. I still have one hit point. That has totally happened to me. It's because of my guts. Awesome. Guts level also. More guts helps you get more smashing hits. Beyond guts, you should have noticed that it takes some time for damage to be taken from you. This is because of your rolling action, the rolling action of your HP meter. I mean, uh, I mean your life. If your enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all enemies before your life is gone, you survive. This is all I know. Interesting. Hmm. So if you take an action before your hit points have Sorry, I'm I'm a hand talker, and so when I start talking and animated about what I'm talking about, I take my hands off the controls, and uh, I stop doing shit. Okay, so Happy Happy Village is over there. I'm still in Hunky Dory Valley. So it's not just a standard... Ooh, that is a fucking pencil. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Um, I don't think I have. Let's use this. Sang the song Ode to Orange Kid. So it's finish the machine. What? 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 Oh man! Oh, I paid two hundred for that. I must have mis misused it. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I should have been wiser with my uh, use. Ooh, hello. Are you... I wonder if that guy's a bad guy. Because only this guy appeared. I wish they would stop draining my pee, -pee. I need that shit. Yeah, like I said earlier, I don't know if, um, oh, maybe I can just talk to you. Oh, no, it's a bad guy. Damn it! I was really hoping that that was something that would kind of unlock to the, this is a little UFO. How about that? Shoot it. Beam cause nighttime stuffiness. <laughs> oh, I see. So my status effect. Now my name's again Lavender, but this is clearly a nose with a little nasal drip there. So I have some nighttime stuffiness. Okay, next time we're healing. Now you receive 4 HP from... Alright. But I have some cold medicine, so I'm... I'm guessing I'm going to have to use the cold medicine in order to treat uh, my nighttime stuffiness. Use it. Got over my cold. Of course I did. 105, very nice. Alright, so I wonder if I can shout over to this guy from this broken bridge. He's probably gonna tell me, go back to town and do something. Well, check it. Huh. I guess not. Um. I don't really see a way across the river. There's those guys there. This is the narrowest gap. Hmm. So we'll go back. My cell phone must be working. I got a call from Apple Kid. 
I just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. Beep, 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 beep. Huh. I wonder if it is... No! Shit. I don't have any PP left. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ramble and evil mushrooms are gonna fuck me up. I think I'm gonna eat a hamburger. I have to. I have enough cash. I can go buy other shit. I can go buy, uh... Pizzas and stuff like that. It's not worth dying right now. Actually... I don't really have that much cash, but... Uh, auto fight, because all I can do is... Oh, I got smashed! Fuck! I don't know that I have... Oh, phew. Okay, maybe... No, oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! That should do it, that should do it! Okay. Oh my god. That was... That was close. Let's not engage this other one, because... More phone calls. I am a fucking popular animal. Hi, Dad. Th th thanks, Dad. No, Dad. <clears throat> what doesn't make me happy? I understand your point of saving the food. Exactly. I wonder if he says it is a good point to take a break. If that... If that is a point that I can save at. I don't know. Good. Let's try this one. Ugh. And doomed. Well, we tried. Oh my god. Okay. We made it back to Applecat. That was way harder than it should have been. Uh, the Applecat's not home. But I found a broken machine in his trash. The genius Isaac. Oh, that's the first mention of Isaac. Apparently, he's a genius. Orange could stand outside his house. Let's see what's up with that. Why is he in the park? Didn't tell me to go there. Maybe his invention is so big that he can't contain it in his house. That's the only explanation. Fuck, I don't have to fight. I hope I don't have to fight anything. I have five hit points. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go stay at the hotel real quick and then go. And then go meet up with Apple Kid. That sounds like best option. Uh, no, 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 fuck me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. <sighs> okay, there's food in, in the park. Let's, let's just at least get some food. <laughs> god. Persecuted at every turn. Alright, so somebody in here sells food. This guy obviously sells bread. Yep. I want the best thing you got. I want to fucking skip sandwich. Not right now. Let's see how the skip sandwich does this. Oh, I'm gonna want a hell of a lot more than a fucking skip sandwich. Why was that so goddamn expensive? Holy shit. Uh, let's go with the lucky. Ah, oh, I don't have enough for a lucky sandwich. Oh my god, what did I do my to myself with that stupid skip sandwich? Bread roll. Yes. More bread rolls. What if there's other food I can buy? Bread roll. Alright, alright, all right, all right. Let me eat, let me eat, let me eat. I'll, I'll be back, I'm sure. Oh. Then what the heck was the skip sandwich doing being so expensive? Alright. Actually, I feel way faster than I was. Maybe that's what Skip Sandwich does. Put some pep in my step. Apple Kid looks hella constipated, but let's talk to him. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally, the pincer eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. That is oddly specific. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Awesome, because you gave me a cell phone. Um, what an oddly specifically cool thing. So, hmm. The mechanic of that was 
to find out where I needed to go and then double back and show me that, that the Apple Kid will give me things that I'll potentially need in the future? Question mark? Yes? No? Anyway, let's go to bed. Because we have gotten our ass whooped. You guys didn't see it. I kept it all behind the scenes, but yeah, it's been... Oh my gosh, I need eight more. Eight more tings. I think this is a pretty schwanky place, and they need 50. Hotel in Tucson, 50. Yes, let's do it. And then we're going to go get rid of that pencil and find Nancy. But we're actually going to do that next time. So for now, this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus, and we'll see you next time.